Hi friends, this video is all about the X-Duo MT602 headphone amplifier. As a disclaimer, this was sent to me for review by APOS, or APOS, APOS, for review. However, it is a loaner unit and all opinions are my own and no one has reviewed this video prior to posting. So this is a Class A amplifier that has both two bass preamplifier and then you have a solid state or transistor based output amplifier. Now this is the first tube amp that I've ever reviewed on this channel. And they tell me that tubes, you know, they sound sweeter than solid state. Um, you know, the, the mid sounds sweeter. Um, the highs are a little bit more laid back. But another problem that I've read about tubes and I've heard about tubes is they sometimes lack high frequency response and resolving power. So Xduo, what they did is they gave you a tube preamp, give you that warmth, that nice sound, but the resolving power um, and the high frequency response is taken care of by the transistor output on here. Again, totally class A. Let's talk about the specifications for just a minute. Uh, the preamp has two 6J1 tubes. Again, you get the post amplifier is transistor based, class A buffer, runs on 12 volts, 1300 milliwatts with 32 ohm load. It's rated between 10 to 60 kilohertz. Total harmonic distortion of 0.8% on a 32 ohm load at one watt. Earphones should be between 16 and 600 ohms impedance, measures five inches, by three and 0.7 inches by one, a little over one and a half inch or 12.7 centimeters by eight centimeters by four centimeters. The whole thing weighs 0.83 pounds or 0.38 kilograms. You can see it's a fairly small and light unit. So when you buy this, what's included? Of course, you get the amp, you get an uh, AC cable, an adapter, a 6.35 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter adapter as well as a user manual and a warranty card. As far as construction, this is all metal. It is a nice aluminum shell. You get gold-plated RCA ports on there. And it has the Japanese Rubicon filter caps built in. So nice quality components in this headphone amplifier. Now one cool feature is this has a built-in muting function. In other words, if you leave your headphones plugged in and you power it up, Sometimes you can get like a loud pop in your headphones. This mutes that, it mitigates that issue. 1300 milliwatts of power. You could use this as a tube-based preamp and control volume with this volume control. Allows you to do what's called tube rolling, changing out the tubes that would affect the sound, as well as you get two different head for, headphone ports, a 6.35 millimeter and a 3.5 millimeter jack right there. Just taking a quick tour of the front, you have your power off and on switch, again a 6.35 millimeter port, jack I should say, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You have this metal volume control on here, and it is metal. It's got a little indentation, a little mark right on here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. That's for uh, you know a visual representation to see the volume on there. And then you have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary and you plug a phone into there, etc. Of course, you have your two tubes right on top. Okay, let's turn it around so you can see the back side of the unit. Very basic. I actually love the simplicity of this unit. You have gold-plated auxiliary inputs on there, so you could plug in a CD player, or if you had a record player with a built-in photo amp, uh, you could plug it directly into there. Auxiliary output, again, you could use this as a preamp, maybe going into a pair of power speakers and so forth, but you still have this tube preamp on there. Makes it a very attractive combination. So let's talk about the sound a little bit. And I use this with the Hi-Fi Man XS Edition Planar headphones. What a wonderful set of headphones. And I had my wife come in, and I put on uh, Chris Isaac's Wicked Game song and had her listen to that, but first I had to listen to it through the NAD C316BV2 uh, amplifier through this headphone uh, port. 
And then I played it through this. And my wife is very, very particular when it comes to sound quality. And her, I said, okay, how does this sound to you? And she said, you know what? It sounds clearer. And I hate to use the analogy of kind of a dirty window and then you clean it. But that is somewhat appropriate, I think, in this case. I understood what she was trying to say, that the presentation, the detail, there is a warmth that I did not hear in the shit Magni, nor on the NAD, or on the output of my Pioneer SXD7000. Didn't, there's just something, a warmth to this that I had not experienced before. So I was very impressed. It was very pleasing sound out of here. Listen to a number of demo tracks. Raven by Logo Penguin, Seven Years from Nora Jones. And one of my favorite things to audition with is Eric uh, Clapton's Unplugged, one of my favorite albums of all time. Just sit and listen to that over and over and over again. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the bass on, uh, on the 602. It seemed to be deeper. It seemed to be not quite as muddy sounding. It's not loose, it's tight, it's fast. Just a deeper, if, you, if you're a bass head, I think this really uh, gives you a nice experience on there. The mid-range. Again, I, I go back to my wife calling it clear. She felt the shit Magni was kind of not as clear. The NAD wasn't as clear. She thought this, this was it, man. This sounded fantastic to her, and I got it. I admit, there was more in the timbre of the voicing. There was more presence. There was a little bit more detail. Maybe you might say that there's a little coloration, a little uh, in the warmth, as opposed to maybe a solid state amp. I don't know. It just sounded really, really good. And the highs, brilliant. Um, not shrill, not tiring, not fatiguing, just a, a nice presence to it without getting all piercing and shrill. You didn't have any of that. Didn't notice any kind of sibilance. Very, very nice sounding highs with this amplifier. This is an absolute steal for $99. If I have to choose between this and the shit Magni, I would take this over the Magni any day of the week. And that's an honest opinion. This, I'm not being paid to say this. I don't get to keep this. It is what it is. For 99 bucks, this is hard to beat. This is very, very useful. You have the ability to input different devices, use it as a preamp. You could do tube rolling, whatever. This is a great introduction to tubes. Very great introduction to listening to music through tubes. But you still have that class A output on here with some quality components built in. That's really all I got to say about the X-Duo. MT602. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.